Hey homemaker, are you having a rough day? I felt that today's video was appropriate because today is one of those days or well, the current moment is one of those moments and I thought what better time than to talk about some realness with you than when I'm having a real moment. My hair is air drying still. It has been about four hours and it is still not completely dry. So, you know, I don't know. It doesn't look that different than other videos, I suppose. But anyways, today is just one of those days with a little bit of rough moments. My son is not cooperating with me and things are just not going to plan. People are very confrontational and combative online today with me. So I thought, that this video would be good. So let's get into the video before I just keep talking about my issues. <laughs> to come to you and say that I am just elated every single day I wake up like, yay, I get to scrub the kitchen floor today. Yay, I get to do the dishes today. Yay, I get to vacuum today. Is a lie. I'm not that excited about it every single day. But that doesn't mean that it's just because I'm a homemaker, because I've felt this way with other jobs. Jobs that I would wake up and I'd be like, yay, I love being a secretary, I'm so excited to go to work today. Yay, I love being a personal trainer, I'm so excited to go to the gym today. No, some days I would wake up from for those jobs and I would be like, oh, I don't wanna go to the gym today, it's five in the morning, why couldn't they schedule their workout with me until at five at night instead of five in the morning? So. My point is that we all have those days. So one thing that I've learned about working in the workplace that I've brought into my lifestyle as a homemaker is that we can't bring our outside problems to work with us. So for example, when I was working at the gym, if I had a, an issue with a friend and we got into an argument about something or a debate about something, I couldn't go to work mad at everybody at work because I had a frustration with one of my friends. That's, that you don't bring your problems to work with you. So just like homemaking, same thing. I can't take it out on my house and my son because a couple of people online decided to be a little argumentative and rude to me today. That doesn't work and it's not going to make me productive. But I'm not saying that you can't have those moments. You can have those moments. You can feel that frustration. You can feel angry, but don't let it ruin the rest of your day. Don't bring it to work with you and take it out on everybody at work with you, including homemaking. I can't let my emotions get in the way of cleaning my house today. I can't let my emotions get in the way of doing certain chores and taking care of my son today because those things need to be done just like any other job. I'm just not on top of the world about it today and that's okay. So I wanted to give you a few tips that I do when I'm feeling this way. Oh, you're still here? Okay. So the first one is to get outside, breathe in some fresh air, go for a walk, or go on a hike if that's possible. And just walking around my yard is good enough for me. And that's also good for my son because he's able to run around in the yard, he's able to move around, get some energy out outside. So that pays off for the both of us. The next thing I like to do is, is to listen to comedy podcasts. Laughter is one of the greatest medicines. So if podcasts aren't your thing, maybe just turn on a funny movie or turn on something that's going to make you laugh. Put on compilation videos that are funny that are going to make you laugh or make you smile on YouTube. Just do something that's going to boost your mood a little bit. Next thing I will do is I will unplug from devices. I will not go on my phone. I will turn the channel if something is on TV that is bothering me. For the most part, my TV isn't on all day. If I do happen to be listening to something like the news or some series of something that is just making me angry or making me feel worse than I do, I turn it off. What's the point of listening to something or seeing something that is going to make you feel worse than you already do? And sometimes when I'm in a bad mood, if I scroll through social media and I see something else that starts to bother me, that's just going to set me off even more. So, so I'm plugging from my devices and not going on social media when I'm feeling like this, good. 
The next thing I like to do is I like to make a healthy snack. One of my favorite healthy snacks is Greek yogurt with some bee pollen on top and then honey drizzled on top and a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on it. And I stir it up and I eat it and it's just delicious. So that one is pretty self-explanatory. Just go into the kitchen, make yourself a healthy snack or a healthy meal and eat something because sometimes your bad mood stems from you just being hungry. The next thing I like to do is go to my local coffee shop and get a coffee and a pastry, sit there and enjoy the scenery. And I don't leave my son with anybody, so getting him out of the house if he's frustrated as well is a good way of changing up the scenery and giving him something, a different environment to be in. My t son is the type of little man that is when he goes out in, di in a different environment and he's around people he doesn't know, he's very quiet and very well behaved. Sometimes taking him out of the house, changing up things, changing up the scenery is what will turn his mood around and therefore turn my mood around. And then last but most certainly not least, I like to pray when I'm feeling this way. Sometimes when I'm feeling this way, I just don't... <sighs> I get frustrated and I don't want to open up my Bible. I don't want to sit there and read. But those are the times that I found that I need to read my Bible the most. So I'll just sit there and I'll flip my Bible open to a random page and I'll start reading it. Once I get past the first paragraph or two, I will keep reading and I will find something in there that correlates to the mood that I'm in and it will completely change my mood. If I have to get things done still, but I'm still in that frustrated mood, I do have the, a Bible app on my phone where I can Go to certain chapters, click the little speaker button. It will just read God's word to me so that I don't have to sit there and read it. So that I'm still able to get my tasks done, but I'm able to listen to God's word, fill myself up with God's word. All in all, it is okay to have rough moments or rough days. It, it is okay to wake up and not be so excited to do every little chore on your chore list. It's okay because it happens in any other career. Not everybody wakes up super excited to do things during the day, even if it's something that they're super passionate about. Just remember that like any job, you can't let your emotions get in the way. You just need to let yourself have them, take a break, and move on from them and go about your day. And remember that tomorrow is a new day where you will wake up and you will be like, wow, I am so grateful I am in a better mood. When I have bad moments like this, it just makes me so much more grateful when I'm just feeling wonderful because I'm like, oh, I'm so grateful I don't feel like this all the time. I am so grateful that I am passionate about this and it is healthy for me to not feel super excited about things every single day. That doesn't mean I don't love homemaking. That doesn't mean I want to go back to work tomorrow. That doesn't mean I don't want any more children. That just means that I'm allowed to get frustrated and that's human. With that being said, if you were watching this video in a bad mood, I do hope that you feel better and you go and take a break and do something that will calm your mind and make you feel better. And if you are watching this for future reference, then please remember the tips that I gave or add it to a favorites playlist and go back to it when you are feeling that way. I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. And I am off to go and tend to my son and clean up his lunch mess. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.